today we are going to see. Completely randomized design. Designs are usually characteristic by the nature of grouping of experimental units and the procedure of random allocation of treatment to the experimental units. In completely randomized design, the units are taken in a single group. As far as possible, the unit forming the group should be homogeneous. Experimental units are also referred as Blocks. Suppose there are K treatments in an experiment. Let I the treatment be replicated R I times. I equal to one, two, etc. up to K. Then The number of experimental units okay, for the design is summation of i is equal to 1 to k r i. The treatments are allotted at random to the experimental units. Merits and demerits of completely randomized design is CRD one. It has a simple layout. Two. The analysis of design is simple as in one way classification of analysis of variance.
there is complete flexibility in the model as the number of replication is not fixed. Analysis can be performed even if sub observation or mix. Let's say. Demerits, the experimental error is large as compared to the other design. Since homogeneity of the unit is ignored. Example. The following figure relate to production in cages of three variable. A, B, and C of wheat sown on total plant. A, 14, 16, 18, B plot, 14, 13, 15, 22, C plot 18, 16, 19, 19, 20. Is there any significant difference the production of varieties solution so in this problem we have to apply complete randomized design x1 14 16, 18. Let us assume x1, then x2, 14, 13, 15, 22, and x3, 18, 16, 19, 19, 20. Now, find the total forty-eight. 64, 92. So overall total 2, not 4.
Similarly, we can find x1 squared, 14 squared, 16 squared, 18 squared, and x2 squared, 14 squared, 13 squared, 15 squared, and 22 squared. x3 squared, 18 squared, and 16 squared, 19. Total seven seven six one zero seven four one seven zero two. Here is total three five five two. Now total n a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, c is equal to 5. So total n is equal to 12 and t is equal to 204. So correction factor t squared by n. That is equal to 204 the whole squared by 12. So the calculator 41616 by 12, Sum of squares column wise x1 squared plus x2 squared plus x3 squared minus t squared by n that is equal to 3552 minus 3468 that is equal to 84 similarly we can find the revise that is summation of x1 the whole squared by n 1 because it's totally different. So n1 plus summation of x2 the whole squared by n2 plus summation of x3 the whole squared by n3 minus t squared by n. So n1 number of times in a, n2 number of times in b, n3 number of times in c. So here summation of x1 squared that is 48 the whole squared by 3 plus 64 the whole squared by 4 plus 92 the whole squared by 5 minus 3 4 6 8 so this calculator 768 plus 1024 plus 169.92.8 minus 3 4 6 8 calculator 16.8 now draw the ANOVA For complete randomized design, source of variation. Sum of square. And degrees of freedom. Mean sum of square. And variance ratio. Between rows. Then error with the total between the sum of squares that is 14.8 here 67.2 then 84 total 84 degrees of freedom is 2 9 11 mean square 8.4 this one divided by this one is 1.47.
variation ratio f is equal to 8.4 divided by 7.47 that value is 1.13 the degrees of freedom 2,9 Table value of 2,9 degrees of freedom at 5 percentage level is 4.26. Therefore, the calculated value of F is less than the table value. Hence, the difference between rows is not significant. That is, The varieties effects are the same.